I mean, you guys saw the title, but uh, we're checking out some people who were fed up with their entitled boss and they quit. My wife was let go after she announced her pregnancy to her manager and approximately when she would be needing maternity leave. She was told that they'd rather replace her than deal with a pregnant employee and all that goes with that. A well-worded letter from our attorney got her one year severance and two years medical coverage for her and the baby. Well, that is how it is done. You came in hot. Don't mess with a pregnant lady. Okay. Gave a regular customer a $2 discount off his usual order. He was moving and this would be his last time dining there. This was the first time he's ever gotten a discount. My boss proceeds to flip out on me, said I was self-righteous, stealing from her, and I was the reason her business was failing, and took the money out of my paycheck. Nobody used coupons slash gave a discount for the next few days. They were all scared. I grabbed my paycheck and put in my two weeks the day after. A $2 discount? Oh, you took the $2 off my paycheck? I promise you, ma'am, $2 is not the reason your business is failing. If your business is failing, you got bigger problems. You got bigger fish to fry, baby. While working at a sporting goods store, I had a supervisor offer me a man a manager position. He talked it up by saying I'd have new responsibilities and tasks, that I'd be able to delegate jobs to other employees while I focused on my new work. Me, cool, what's the pay? Him, well, we wouldn't be able to give you a salary increase. Me, so I'd be doing a lot more with the same pay. Him, yeah, you'd have more responsibilities. Me, no. Oh, I worked a job like this. I sure did. And I no longer work there. Guys, random fact, um, what day is it? Friday. <gasps> I leave for Cuba in seven days. Hey, hey, hey. And don't you worry, videos will be posted every single day still. Not one missed. Don't fear. I know you guys all panicked being like, oh my God, we won't see her. How will we ever survive? I'll be here. Uh, well, you will be seeing a past me at that moment in time. Cause I will be laying my fat ass on a beach, okay? With some vodka. Boss pitched a sales incentive trip to Cancun if the team hit the goal. My team exceeded the goal and then they canceled the trip. <gasps> Scammers. Two people quit. I accepted a position with their main competitor and less than a year later, they closed in bankruptcy. Karma's a beach. I love that. Um, you heard it here first. That's gonna be one of my vacation Instagram captions. Swear to God. I'm saying it right now, you're gonna see my Instagram and one of my captions when I'm on vacay is gonna say Karma's a beach. That's hilarious. Also, what a scam. Hey, if you guys need this goal, free trip. Oh, thanks for reaching the goal and exceeding. We canceled the trip. You probably never even booked it in the first place. Had a worker that worked herself silly for the job. Really loved the venue, loved the clients, loved the work, so she would work after clocking off, take work home, go in on weekends. Employee of the frickin' month, above and beyond teacher's pet here. Really just go above and beyond always. We always got incredible feedback from clients and suppliers about her. In our contract, it says we're entitled to a 5K raise after being employed for three years. At our yearly renewal, having been there for 3.5 years, she asked for the raise. She was flat out told there was no room in the budget. She could have taken them to Fair Work Commission, but instead she just started looking for jobs. She left, got a great position in a great company, and is loving it. The guy they hired to replace her had a quarter of the experience, no love for the job, and his annual salary was 10K higher. M most of us have since left and the place is falling to poo. This is what happens when you don't pay your good employees what they deserve. This is exactly what happens. You start paying more, for someone who doesn't work nearly as hard, isn't passionate about it, sucks. Sucks for you and then your company suffers and your business will suffer in the long run. Congratulations, should have just paid me 5K more like I deserve. Old folks home kitchen, maybe 20 staff members. Boss declared we were too happy and made a new set of rules. Okay, Wednesday Adams. You don't like people being happy? There was to be absolutely no talking, laughing, or jokes. The kitchen was to be silent because we were distracting ourselves from work. Anyone working less than nine or 10 hour shifts were forbidden, I'm sorry, bathroom breaks, that's illegal. Going to the bathroom on a shift with less than nine or 10 hours was a fireable offense. See ya. Permitted bathroom breaks could not be on the clock. Your lunch must be used to use the bathroom. Lunch breaks were 15 minute long. 
Any communication with management was seen as inappropriate. Staff and management were to be kept separate at all times. A manager, oh, had intimacy with a staff member and it made a big deal. That's why this was made. Oh, okay. Perfect. You will not be paid overtime, but will be expected to work overtime. If you are to clock out by 8 p.m., but are still needed, you must clock out, then return to work. Complaints to HR or labor board are fireable offensive. Who cares? Peace out. Yes, people complained. Yes, the place was investigated. Good. Ex-boss was sued. Lost. Morale dropped. They have a hard time keeping employees now, and from what I heard, most of the new employees are high school students. Ex-boss announced a sudden retirement for the end of the year, and the kitchen will be taken over by all new people. I jumped ship early on. Do not miss this place. That sounds incredibly illegal, so it makes sense. Um, I don't even know how they had people working there ever. I worked for a small environmental consulting business a few years ago. We relied heavily on the work oots to function well so we could do our jobs, driving around rough terrain and such. What is oots? 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 We're old and tired and broke down a lot. More than once I was stuck in the middle of nowhere trying to spontaneously learn to become a mechanic to get myself home. I understood it was a small business and the boss was just trying to make ends meet and it didn't make sense for all of us to have all the latest and greatest equipment and vehicles, but when his wife drove into work one morning with a brand new BMW, when our tools of trade were falling apart, that kind of killed it for me. Rightfully so. At first I was like, okay, we're being understanding. We get what we're going through. Nope, your boss has money. Your boss got money. Or so it would appear. Maybe we don't know the full situation, but yeah, I understand that would be very annoying. You know what time it is? It's time to hydrate with whatever you want. I encourage water, but hey, do what you gotta do. Cheers. Drink. Oh, you can see me right through there. Hello. And you know the drill. Lip oil, baby. You wanna know a fun fact? So this is a brand called Be Pure. Be Pure. And it's at Dollar Tree and I get all their stuff from there. And someone commented on one of my videos saying Be Pure, the face stuff I bought, is retailed for $27 on their website, and I'm out here getting it at Dollar Tree. That's wild. New principal came in. It was like he forgot what being a teacher is like. He made us sub constantly on our planned periods instead of getting around to calling a sub. If we weren't subbing, he would come into our rooms as we worked on planned time things and go over ridiculous things that could have better been sent in an email. He fired the lunch supervisor and made us supervise lunch. Then he started giving us a hard time about using the bathroom between classes because if we were in the bathroom, who was supervising the halls? It boiled down to us working before and past contract hours with zero breaks. Illegal. No bathroom, no lunchtime. You can't eat and supervise. I went off on him one day because he accosted me for going to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom to change my tampon. I waved a spare tampon around in the hallway in front of God and students and told him I'd have enough of this and if he had time to drive to McDonald's for lunch, he had a fry box in his hands. I could be spared two minutes of supervision to change a tampon. You go, sister. To add insult to injury, the staff banded together and we documented these things to get him fired. The next person comes in and decides that action of creating unity with the staff needed to be dismantled, so she changed where all our rooms were and in most cases, what we taught regardless of our certification. Oh my God, I quit, I couldn't take anymore. Kids are my number one in teaching and when a school dissolves into politics and baloney nonsense, it just isn't worth it to me. I could get treated like poop in any profession and probably get paid more. Facts. That's what you really gotta consider at the end of the day. You really gotta consider, what are you there for? And if all this is going on, it's just not a place you wanna be. One of our CAD drafters, had to get brain surgery last year. Oh, he got through it with no issues and has been working since with the occasional doctor meeting. He's not necessarily the fastest worker, but he gets the job done and I haven't noticed a difference before and after. Bless, I'm happy to hear that. Last week during a meeting, our boss said to him, ever since your surgery, you haven't been as capable. I can't trust this project to you. I have wanted to quit for a while and this pushed me overboard. That's awful. If you genuinely felt that there um, performance and work was being affected by that, really you're gonna call them out in a team meeting like in front of everyone? Like that's just mean. Even if it was true, which other people have said it isn't, 
in front of everybody, like that's a private conversation to have and to discuss. Small business, 20 employees, plus minus. Okay, boss made a big speech about austerity measures and no raises this year. A week and a half later, he drives up in a brand new Silverado with all the bells and whistles. Convenient. Expense to the business, of course. We would hate to have to pay taxes on those profits. One of the less subtle members of the staff took a literal dump in front of his office door. Oh, so he didn't quit? He took a shit. <laughs> I'm not sure which one I'd rather have if I was the boss. Would I rather my employee quit or would I rather he take a dump in front of my office door? Oh my God, you guys, I have to tell you something. I did not poop. It's nothing about that, but it is about poop. <laughs> In grade 12, one of our friends, as his end of the year, grade 12 prank, whatever, after, you know, we, it was like the last week of school, he took a dump on the floor of one of the bathrooms. Yeah, I did not agree with this prank, um, but <laughs> he got caught, he got caught. Because obviously they found out and people started being like, oh, it was this person and word got out and they made him go and clean up his own I will not say your name, but if you ever see this, somehow, some way, <sighs> you know what you did. It was a one-two punch. The company-wide meeting announced the promotion of several high-level management and executives, mostly title and responsibility changes. Lots of smiles and handshakes, not unlike a college graduation ceremony. After these promotion announcements, they declared that due to the stagnant economy and poor sales, the entire company would be experiencing a pay freeze as a result. So no raises for anyone. They then concluded the meeting by discontinuing casual Fridays, so no more jeans on Fridays. It almost felt like it was designed to make people want to quit and leave. It worked though. I and many others moved on to greener pastures within the year. Yeah, well, a pay freeze will do that especially when the economy around us keeps rising, rising. It's rising, Joss. It's grammar. I tried. You know, I hate when people are like up there and I can't say a word and then they're in the comments like, you can't pronounce that word. It's like, are you really? Does that really bother you that people have like trouble pronouncing some words or maybe need a few times to say it out loud to figure it out? Don't be so rude. I work in a big corporate building. The same older lady came by everyone's desk toward the end of the day to collect the trash. Just the sweetest lady ever. And every time she'd walk to my desk, she'd give me a big smile and ask me how my day was and chat for a minute and she got my trash. Usually I dump it in for her. I had some rough days, but she has a way to cheer me up, send me home on a higher note. I know I'm not the only one either. So then a few weeks back, our work implemented a new policy to cut down on trash usage. It's no longer allowed to have a trash bin at our desk and we have to walk across the room and use the community trash to throw anything away. Not a huge deal, but the real reason they did it is so they can cut down on cost. <gasps> Example, the cleaning crew. Sad to say I haven't seen Sharon since. Sharon! No, not Sharon. Oh, she seemed lovely. When I was hearing the story, it reminded me of my high school janitor. So we'd all be in the cafeteria, right? And everyone knew him. He was just so jolly, so nice, so fun. Like he just like, he cared about us and his job. And so he would have the big garbage bin and he would just walk up and down all the aisles and we would throw garbage in throughout our lunch hour. And his name was Larry and he was just the best. So it made me think of Larry. I wonder how Larry is. Another fun fact though, if you got in trouble, like instead of a detention where you'd have to stay after school, they would do lunch duty detention where you had to grab a garbage can and you had to do garbage duty. And the entire lunch hour, they gave you about 15 minutes to eat your lunch because they can't do that. Yeah, I had to do that one time. Only once, I mean, I got a lot of other detentions. I also got suspended, but I did lunch duty one time and it sucked because you're just basically doing the walk of shame with a trash can up and down the aisles. And I remember being like walking by all the senior tables and I was like, me. I felt like such a loser. <laughs> Anyways, told a bunch of people they were going to be promoted to get us to do extra work. 
no one got promoted. Classic. I basically did her job for a month. Me and three of my coworkers quit and she got fired a few months later. Who's left working at that point? <laughs> Who's left working? How is this business surviving? It probably isn't. All right, you guys, I'm getting out of here. Remember to hydrate and to stay classy and the most important of all, stay sassy.